Good morning, children. Myself, Divya Sharma from Shivjyoti Education Group, Kota. Children, in part one video, we discussed chapter number 21, where I did the explanation of the chapter, including the internal questions. Today, in part two video, we will be discussing the book work and the copy work. But before that, just quickly recapitulate the important topics which were covered in the chapter. So, first we read about what is government. Government is a team of people who run a country. Then we learned the three levels of government. The central or union government, which is for the entire country. The state government, which is responsible for different states. The local government, that is for village or towns. As it is not possible for uh, one single government to look after the entire country, therefore we have three levels of government. Then we learnt about relationship between the centre and the states. The responsibilities are being divided between the centre government and the state government. Then we learnt about the central government which makes laws for the country and the main law making body of the country is the parliament which consists of two houses that is the Lok Sabha which is called the House of People, which is also the lower house, and the Rajya Sabha, which is called the Council of States, which is the upper house of the parliament. Then we discussed the president who is the head of our country, then the prime minister and the council of ministers. The prime minister is elected through the general elections which are held. Then we learnt about the state government, state government, it makes laws for state, okay? Then we learnt about the courts, if any of the citizens' rights are being, fundamental rights are being denied, the person can approach the court for justice. So these were the important topics which were covered in the chapter. Now let us discuss the book work and the copy work. Let's discuss the book work. Exercise A, who elects whom? First, people above 18 years of age elect members of the Lok Sabha in the central government. People who are above the age of 18 years can elect the members of the Lok Sabha in the central government. People above 18 years of age elect members of the state legislative in the states. In the states, when the members of the state legislative assemblies are to be elected, they are also elected by the people who are above the age of 18 years. Members of the state legislative assemblies elect members of the Rajya Sabha in the central government. The state legislative members elect the members of Rajya Sabha. Okay, that is why it is called the Council of States. Fourth one, members of Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha and the state legislative assemblies elect the president. The president is elected by the members of Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha and the state legislative assemblies. Now second we are going to discuss multiple choice questions. First, the union government is also known as the central government. C is the correct option. Second, the defense of our country is the responsibility of the central government. A is the correct answer. Third one, the set of rules according to which our country is run is called the constitution. Okay, so B is the correct answer. Constitution is a set of rules according to which our country runs. Fourth one, the Lok Sabha is presided over by the Speaker, so C is the correct answer. Fifth one, the number of constituencies India has been divided into is, the correct answer is A, that is 543. Sixth one, the head of the government of India is the Prime Minister, so A is the correct answer over here. Then let us uh, discuss the copy work children. First is define parliament, the body that is elected to make and change the laws of the country. It is called parliament as we learned that parliament is the main law making body of the country which can make and change the laws of the country. 
Now let's discuss the question answers. Answer the following questions. Question number one, name the three levels of government in India. Answer, the three levels of government in India are central or union level government, which is for the entire country, state level government, which is for states, and the local level government, which is for villages and towns. Question number two, why do we have three levels of government in our country? Would it not be easier to have just the central government? We need three levels of government because India is a huge country with a large diverse population. As we learned that it is not possible for a single government to look after the entire country. So we need three levels of government. It would not be easier with central government alone to look after the entire country properly. That is why the government has three levels. Question number three is, who is the head of our country? Second, the central government. Answer to one is, the head of our country is the president. Second, the prime minister is the head of the central government. Fourth question is, list two responsibilities each of the central government, the state government. The responsibilities of the central government are to make laws for the country, to defend the borders of our country. These are the two responsibilities of the central government. It makes laws for the whole country and it also looks after to defend the borders of our country. The responsibilities of the state government are to make laws for their state. Now state governments are responsible for the particular states. To provide health and education to the people. To look after the health and uh, welfare of the people of the particular state. Question number five is, what is the responsibility of the courts? The responsibility of the courts is to protect the fundamental rights of every citizen of India. As we learned that if any uh, one's fundamental rights are being denied, the person can approach the court for justice. Question number six is, which is the highest court in the country? The Supreme Court of India at New Delhi is the highest court in the country. So uh, you have six question answers in this chapter, children. Give a read to the chapter once again and do the book work and copy work very neatly. Thank you.